What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look at Monster Hunter Rise running on the Shadow PC. This is the boost tier, the 1080 equivalent uh, for Shadow. It's the only one you can get here in the States right now. And the demo for this game back when it came out would not launch and would not play on Shadow, but I was pretty confident the full version would work. And here we are, launch day for Monster Hunter Rise, and indeed it does launch up and actually plays really, really well on Shadow. To taking a quick look at the settings, I am on high. So where it says custom, you have low, average, and high. I kind of recommend average with a lock 60 but you'll see why here in a little bit but I'm gonna go ahead and run on high put everything else on high and then down at the bottom here I have all my normal things turned off when it comes to motion blur lens distortion vignette effect depth of field film grain filters I really don't like any of that in any of the games especially when I'm testing them out so that's what we got for settings 1440p 144 Hertz unlimited on the frame cap now in town here everything of course runs really really smooth and a high frame rate without any issue one thing I do like about this game even in areas when you get out into the hunts even when you drop down into the 50s as far as your FPS the optimization of the game is really good. There's not a lot of frame time issues, which you'll see in the frame timeline as we go through the video, which is good. Even though the CPU is a bottleneck issue for the boost here always, um, especially in games like this and open world. I was happy to see that even as I ran around in world and, and in combat and that type of thing, we didn't get huge frame time spikes and lag and stutters in the game. It actually stays pretty smooth and I would recommend again going to something like an average setting on the graphics and just locking it down to 60 FPS and you could actually get some overhead and you could get a really smooth experience if you don't want your frame rate to be jumping around everywhere. But I left everything unlocked and just running pretty well maxed out here so that you could see what the performance would be that way. Um, but that's probably how I would go about playing on Shadow for the most part. Now here on my local monitor, it is a 144 hertz gaming monitor and Shadow is matching that variable refresh rate. So for me here locally, it's really smooth. In the video, recording and putting up at 60 FPS on YouTube might not look as smooth as it does to me playing here, but I didn't have any issues with stutter or stream quality. Even when you get into combat here, and like I said, those, those frame times, the FPS will drop. We don't get huge spikes and, and stutters and issues. The frames are just moving up and down as they should um, in a game like this and keeping things pretty smooth. So even in combat between 55 and 88 FPS, um, it still felt good, it felt smooth, and didn't have any stutters or lags the whole time. Alright guys, I'm really happy to see that Monster Hunter Rise is playable on Shadow PC. I'm definitely looking forward to getting into the game, and I have a little bit more combat and gameplay here for you to check out the performance. Alright, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always guys, and I'll see you in the next one.